We're going to pick up where we left off. Um, last time we learned about taking the derivatives of logarithms and taking the derivatives of exponentials. And we're going to actually use the derivative of the logarithm today to make it easier to take more complex derivatives. So I'm going to show you how this works. Let me go into writing mode. Here we are. So let's remind ourselves. Okay, what's wrong with this? Let's remind ourselves that the derivative of the logarithm is 1 over x. And if you're taking the derivative with respect to x of some complicated formula, like the natural log of u, the chain rule tells you that this will be 1 over u times the derivative of u with respect to x. OK, so why might so there's this thing we're going to learn about called logarithmic differentiation. Uh, what it does is it takes advantage of the fact that the logarithm has some nice simplifying properties. So uh, we are going to take advantage of the logarithm's uh, properties. So like, what properties am I talking about? Uh, hopefully you remember these, but let's talk about them. If you have, for instance, the natural logarithm of a times b, does anyone remember what that becomes? So if you have the natural logarithm of a product, what does that become? Does anyone remember, Benny? Yeah? Yeah? Super close. The natural log. Yeah, there we go. Yep, yep, yep. So that is a really useful thing we're going to use. And then the other one is if you're dividing, you subtract. And the last one is if you have the natural logarithm of a power, the power can end up in front of the natural logarithm. OK, so we're going we to we're gonna take the logarithm of things because we're going to use these rules to split them up, basically. So here, here, let me show you like a cool thing. So let's say that you wanted to take the derivative of 2x to the fourth plus 1 to the power of tangent x. Okay, so what rule does it look like you would use for this? Like, what, this looks very similar to a rule that you would use to take the derivative of this. Which rule does this sort of look like? Like, if you're taking the derivative of this, like, you would be tempted to use what rule? Because you have 2x to the fourth plus 1 to a power. What rule would you be? Yeah, the chain rule or the power rule, right? Like, does it make sense? Like, you're looking at this and you're like, hey, this is like u to the n. Why don't we do n times u to the n minus 1 times the derivative of u with respect to x? Unfortunately, that doesn't quite work because this that rule only works if this n is a constant right here. Okay, so the chain rule and the and the power rule don't work in this case. So what you want to use is something called logarithmic differentiation to simplify. So we have here y equals 2x to the fourth plus 1 to the power of tangent x. So it's called logarithmic differentiation because what you do is you take the logarithm of both sides first. So I'm going to take the logarithm of both sides of this equation. So on the left-hand side, you get the natural log of y. On the right-hand side, you get the natural logarithm of 2x to the fourth plus 1 to the power of tangent x. Okay. So first step is take the logarithm. Okay, now what you do is you work on the right-hand side. So because you have the logarithm of a power, 
you can take that power and move it out in front. So that tangent x ends up in front of the natural logarithm of 2x to the fourth plus 1. Okay, so I'm color coding this so you can see that I move the tangent up in front using the the third property of logarithms, right? The natural log of a to the b equals b times the natural log of a. Okay, now what you can do after you've simplified using the logarithm rules, so I guess let's write this down. What was the first step? One, take the logarithm. And then two, what did I do here? Simplify using rules. Okay, and the third step is then you take the derivative. Okay, so I'm going to take the derivative with respect to x of both sides. So on the left-hand side, I get the derivative with respect to x of the natural log of y and on the right hand side I get the derivative with respect to x of tangent x times the natural log of 2x to the fourth plus one so I'm just moving it over because I need more space okay so I took the derivative of both sides Okay, so now we have to take the derivative. So on the left-hand side, I can use the chain rule. The derivative with respect to x of the natural log of y is 1 over y, because that's the derivative of natural log y, times dy dx. Now, on the right-hand side, what rule do I need to use to take the derivative of what's inside of here? Because of this thing. There's actually several rules I have to use. But what's the main rule to first do my first step? Because of this right here. Hopefully you can see the arrows. I'm going to add more of them. What rule am I going to have to use? Because I'm taking the derivative of tangent x something natural log 2x to the fourth plus one product rule yes so the product rule says take the derivative of with respect to x of tangent leave the natural log of 2x to the fourth plus one by itself add tangent x times the derivative with respect to x of the natural log of 2x to the fourth plus one Okay, so I'm going to rewrite the left-hand side, 1 over y, dy, dx. And now I'm going to get to work on the right-hand side. Uh, the derivative of tangent, I want to say, is secant squared. Did I do that right? Let's, and let's put it in red, because I'm calculating that. It's the derivative of tangent secant squared. Can I have a confirmation on that? Okay, cool. And then you're going to leave the natural log of 2x to the fourth plus 1 by itself. You leave the tangent. Okay, now I have to take the derivative of the natural log of 2x to the fourth plus 1. Remember the way that taking the derivative of natural log works is you do 1 over what's inside of the natural log. And then you multiply by the derivative of what's inside of the natural log. So I get tangent x times 1 over 2 to the 2 times x to the 4th plus 1 times whatever the derivative of 2 to the 2 times x to the 4th plus 1. Okay. So now we can do some simplification. I'll just rewrite the left-hand side again. 1 over y dy dx equals, okay, and so we've got our secant squared x times natural log 2 
x to the fourth plus one plus, okay, this is gonna become the tangent x over two x to the fourth plus one. Okay, the derivative of two x to the fourth plus one is gonna be eight x to the third. Okay, awesome. Okay, so I have a step there where I just write everything through. I took my derivative. Okay, so now remember, we wanted to take the derivative of two x to the fourth plus one to the power of tangent. To find the answer to that, all we need to do is solve for dy dx. So once you get to this step after you've taken the derivative, so this is our fourth step, is you need to solve for dy dx. So if I want to solve for dy dx, I need to multiply both sides by y. So you see the y times 1 over y, those will cancel. So then I need to multiply everything over here by y. So to solve for dy dx, that means you're going to have to multiply by y. So on the left-hand side, the y and the 1 over y cancel. You get dy dx. Okay, and then you get equals secant squared x natural log 2x to the fourth plus 1 plus 8x cubed tangent x all over 2x to the fourth plus 1. Okay, I'm just simplifying that. And then what is all this multiplied by? this y right here. Now, you have to remember that your original y is 2x to the fourth plus one times tangent x, because that's what we were taking the derivative of. So what you're gonna have plopped here is 2x plus, 2x to the fourth plus one to the power of tangent x. <laughs> so your answer is this huge thing. Oops. I just want to put it in a box. This whole thing is your answer. That is the derivative of 2 times x to the 4th plus 1 to the power of tangent x. Okay, And you had to do all this because you couldn't just use the chain rule by itself because the chain rule wasn't going to work because the power only works when you have something to a num power of a number, not something to the power with a function. Okay, so you weren't able just to use the chain rule. You needed to do logarithmic differentiation. So you wanted to take the derivative of 2x to the fourth plus 1 to the power of tangent x. So you started by setting y equal to what you wanted to take the derivative of. That's the first step right there. Then you have to take the natural logarithm of both sides. So you get natural log y equals the natural log of 2x to the fourth plus one to the power of tangent x. You then use those logarithm properties to break everything apart. I'd move my tangent x, the power, out in front. Then you can take the derivative. So I took my derivative. I had to use the product rule and the chain rule to chain rule to do the left, product rule to do the right. And then once you've taken the derivative, then you need to solve for dy dx, that's that last step there. How do you do that? You multiply both sides by y. Solve for dy dx, and then you get your answer. Okay, so I know these are like quite a bit of work. I'm gonna pause for a moment to see if there are questions.